Somewhere saying, Yeah, I like that. I used to do that for the globe charge. But look at this ball handling. And being able to finish with the shot. Kyrie Irving is one of the best players in the NBA. At only 25 years old, he is already a four time All Star, an Olympian, a top five player at his position, and he's averaged almost 22 points a game for his career. His signature shoes are the second most popular in the world, behind only teammate LeBron James and he hit one of the most iconic shots in NBA Finals history to win his first NBA championship. You likely remember that Kyrie Irving was the number one selection of the 2011 draft. But what you might not remember is that the Cavs didn't win the draft lottery with their own team record that year. Despite finishing the 2010-2011 season with an abysmal 19-63 record, the Cavs fell in the draft lottery and ended up with the fourth overall pick, which they used on this guy. The fourth pick in the 2011 NBA draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Tristan Thompson from Toronto, Canada. So how did we get this? With the first pick in the 2011 NBA draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Kyrie Irving from Duke University. To answer that, we have to go out to LA. During that 2010-2011 season, the Clippers' relationship with point guard Baron Davis had turned contentious. After inking a $65 million deal in 2008, B. Diddy's play fell off a cliff to the point that he was averaging a mere 12 points per game that season. While the Clips' front office was hoping for the Davis that did this, what they got was a Davis that showed up to games overweight and disinterested. Then Clippers owner, and not to mention racist, Donald Sterling had such disdain for Davis that he once openly heckled his point guard during a home game from his courtside seats, calling him out of shape and asking why the coach was playing him. Eventually, Clippers GM Neil O'Shea sent Davis packing to Cleveland in a trade that would forever alter both franchises' trajectory. Along with Davis, the Clippers included an unprotected lottery pick for the Cavs' Jamario Moon and former All-Star Mo Williams. The move was essentially a salary dump for LA, who was looking to get rid of Davis's remaining $28 million. O'Shea defended the trade by saying he wanted to clear LA's cap sheet for a chance to re-sign young center DeAndre Jordan and because he wasn't high on the 2011 draft. However, by not including pick productions in the trade, he had boxed himself into a corner should the Clippers win the draft lottery, which is exactly what they did. Although the Clippers would finish the season with a 32-50 record and have only a 2.8% chance of winning the number one overall pick, they somehow beat the odds to come away with that coveted first selection. Basically, the Clippers gave up Kyrie Irving, one of the best players in the game today, for cap space, an expiring contract, and 23 games of Mo Williams. Cleveland's fleecing of the Clippers was so absolute and embarrassing that whenever trades involving lottery picks happen today, they almost always come with pick protections, because no team wants to be on the losing end of one of the worst trades in NBA history, like the Clippers in 2011. Lulls at the sleep, forces a late contest, that's a big time offensive play by Kyrie Irving, but it's a play he's made. Thanks for watching, guys. Please hit the like or subscribe button or leave a comment below to help this channel grow. Thanks.